Marine Le Pen ordered to stand trial for tweeting pictures of ISIS killings. Here's a summary of the article. French far-right leader Marine Le Pen has been ordered to stand trial for tweeting pictures of ISIS atrocities, including the beheading of American journalist James Foley. Ms. Le Pen posted several graphic images of ISIS killings in December 2015, a month after jihadists murdered 130 people in terror attacks in Paris. One of pictures showed the body of Foley, who was abducted in Syria and executed by ISIS in August 2014. Daesh is this, Ms. Le Pen wrote in the tweet, using the terror group's Arabic name. A judge in the West Paris suburb of Nanterre has now ruled she should stand trial over the images. Last year magistrates ordered Ms. Le Pen, 50, to undergo psychiatric evaluation to determine if she should go to trial. Ms. Le Pen, who has 2.25 million Twitter followers, tweeted the images to a French television journalist who she accused of likening her party to ISIS. This post received a score of 33,741, with an upvote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than in other countries this would have earned me a medal. That's a pretty fucking low effort medal if all you have to do is tweet a picture of a beheaded body. If there is a country that gives you medals for tweeting let me know which one it is. The US gave Trump the POTUS medal for tweeting. Yay but you have to consider the fact that they're the best tweets ever by the most popular tweeter in the history of tweetism. For real. Just ask him. Also technically it was the electoral college not the American people. And Trump was raging right before the election too. He said in a rally, if Hillary wins Pennsylvania, then I'll know she cheated. Actual quote from Donald. Emphasis Donald's. There's been 53 U.S. president elections. In five, the Electoral College has went against the popular vote, usually it is done to avoid recounts because it was simply far too close. For Trump, Clinton? No one knows. Two meters is not close whatsoever. I'm not really sure what the point of the EC is anyway. They literally exist to undermine popular vote. It's the EC's vote that matters. If an election ended with five votes versus five meters for popular votes, the EC can easily elect the person who only had five. The United States, is a union of states, and had to be agreed on by individual states who otherwise could have formed independent countries after the American Revolution. It's fair for states but unfair for citizens, so the House is then balanced for population size. The college adds up both the Senate and the House, and therefore is a middle ground between population-based and state-based, and is a direct result of the compromise. Now, the United States is no longer a loose collection of states, so the justification today is to make sure the voices in the rural areas are heard even though cities have X10 the population. Yeah, but nobody pays attention to Vermont or Wyoming. Everyone focuses on the issues that Pennsylvania and Florida care about. The small states can get fucked because so long as you're guaranteed to win more than 55% of a state, that state is in the bag for you and you can ignore it. The diffusion of violent images that can be viewed by a minor is illegal in France, doesn't she know? Which I always thought was odd. I mean, say someone creates an exact perfect copy of a violent image. The only difference being one is real death, the other isn't, but there was no way to tell them apart. Would they both be illegal or only one of them? The video game and movie industry would like to know this. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.